All right, uh, composite functions review. So write down these two functions. This is a new symbol. That little hole uh, means composed by. That's what that means, composed by. And so you'd read it by f composed by g at x. This is a substitution question where you take one equation and you substitute into the other. So in this case, g would be substituted into f. So do you have the ability to take g and plug it into f? So for f, you have x squared. So instead of x, x squared, put in parentheses squared. And you have x again, again put in parentheses. And then inside the parentheses, put in x minus 4. If you did have to expand this, x subtract 4 squared is here. And then combine like terms. So that's x squared minus 8x plus 16. And we still have x minus 4 here at the end. And then combine like terms. So we have x squared minus 7x and then plus 12. Uh, what would happen if you uh, substituted in at a number? So let's say it's f composed by g at 2. How would you do that? And so this again is a substitution question. 2 would be plugged into g first and get an answer. So that's 2 minus 4. Get that answer, which is negative 2. Then that answer would be plugged into f. So that's negative 2 squared plus negative 2. And then you would get your answer. So you first plug it into g, and then take that answer and plug it into f. So I plugged it into g and got negative 2. Then take that answer, plug it into f, Negative 2 squared is 4, take away 2, and you get your answer. All right, I hope that review helped with composite functions. Mr. G Math, over now.